another short lesson on a Ted Green's blues. Uh, this one on the page just says blues progressions. This is a blues in G. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about what's going on here, right? This is a fun one. It's a little, a little more complicated, but uh, fun, right? So let's take a look at the first bar, right? We're in the key of G. He's taking us from this G, walking up the bass, inversion, to a D flat 9, setting us into the 4 chord, C9. So that's going to give us... Step above, then we got a C9 up to this bass moment. We're going bass movement, G minor 7. So the companion minor, right? You can, the G minor 7 is the companion minor of C minor. Essentially, you can think any minor 2 and 5 are homies, they're together, okay? They're good friends, right? So let's do it again. We got from the first bar, we got. C9, G minor 7, C13, back to the 1 chord, to a D7, to a G7 inversion, to a D minor 9. So notice that's all, you could think of it as 1-5-1-5, one, five, one, five, right? My, uh, dominant 1, 5-7, five, 1-7 seven, one, seven to 5 minor 9, back to the 1, 2 chord, flat 2, Flat two, flat five, into the four. Another approaching the four chord from a half step above that D flat to C nine, that four chord. And then we got a really cool run here. So this he's calling he's calling all of these C nines, um, or there's some sort of C seven, right? You've got this, you got this, you've got this, you've got this. So a slew of inversions. There's a, Another minor, we could think of it another companion minor dominant seventh pair, C minor 9, F9, C minor 7, F7. So that's the first six bars, right? And you know, something to consider is like, you know, generally this would be one chord, four chord, one chord. He's filling that in with one chord, four, minor nine, minor seven, pardon me, G7, ah, uh, forgive me, G7, D7, G7, D minor nine, G7, into the four. That slew of inversions, that even just those four chords are great to run. I mean, even if you're having trouble playing the whole thing fluidly, you're going to find really beautiful inversions, very beautiful voicings that you can take with you into other contexts. Um, okay, so we are at bar 6, C minor 9, F9, C minor 7, F7, and now this is a cool run, so one second, so... This would go, going into the seventh bar, right? Generally, on this seventh bar, where are you going? You're going back to the one chord, right? He's got us doing this. He gets busy. G seven sharp nine, tritone away, D flat seven, going down a half step to another tritone away. So the G seven, the, the root motion there is. Taking us to the three dominant seven, B, B13. And this is what he's calling this a B7 sharp nine. Right, just that little pocket of sound. It's a, it's a shell. Uh, three, seven, sharp nine, to an E7 sharp nine, to a B flat seven sharp eleven. So if we're thinking of these, these past two 
two bars in terms of root motion. We've got one, flat five, four, two, three, three, uh, six, uh, or flat three. Here comes a two chord. Six, two, flat six, two, two, five. Set this up for the one, five. And now, in a typical blues, right, we'd just be back to the one chord, but he's gonna give us this. He gives us. Right, we're thinking, if we're thinking root motion there, we've got one, flat seven, six, flat three, two, flat six, into the five, inversion of the five, and he takes us to this as the final chord. It's a G13, seven in the bass. I've got this low seven string, so I'll add the root there. So I'll run through this once more. I'll have the voicings underneath as I go through it. Here we go. One, two, here we go. iterates just how much you can do with a simple form such as the blues right the blues is we're used to it as three chords right I mean there's more than three chords going on here um, and almost every root position right there's flat threes flat sixes natural threes natural sixes there's twos there's flat twos there's fives I don't think there's any there's a flat seven in there I don't think there's any natural sevens Right, so there's every root position in this study, except for the natural seven. How about one more run through, and I'm gonna name the chords as I go, or rather name the root position. One, one, flat five, four, five, oh, forgive me, minor one, four, one, five, one, minor five, one, two, flat two, oh, flat five, four, that's four, minor four, flat seven, minor four, flat seven, and one, flat five, four, where are we? Oh, actually there is, here it is, this is the natural seven, an F sharp, seven sharp, nine, leading us to the three chord, a three, three, six, flat three, two, six, two, Flat six. Oh, let's try tone movement. Oh, where are we here? We have uh, two, two, five. Oh, and where are we got here? Five, of course, and one. Flat seven, six, flat three, two, flat six, five, flat six to the five, and one. Just because it's fun to play, we do it one more time. Three and seven. Two. Thing. You can slow these down, really let them breathe. That's almost half tight. Right. I mean, there's so many ways to interpret it rhythmically. Ted didn't give us any strict rhythms here. And that's a good way to deal with it in the beginning. If it's really hard, it's just everything down. We'll put it in half time. Or is it double time? I don't know. You know, twice as slow. Whatever you want to call it. Slower. How about that? 
and do it slow. helpful yeah you'll find a link to the study in the description below if you're on YouTube um, all right so yeah you'll find a link to this anyway hope that's helpful thanks for listening <laughs>